now we're talking bigger or quality holes. Gates here should be plenty. I think I'll only need the two, but I'm not needing them out in that field anymore. Come on, keep going. Come on, keep moving. Right, they're all segregated off so we can clear all this. I'm taking the post out of there with no cap, so I've just stuffed it with silage wrap to for now so it doesn't clog up the rubbish. Pull that out once we're done and put the post back in. Kev's just getting reversed in here. I'll let him load that up. I need to go and put the trailer onto my tractor. My tractor. I'm done. start no bother. Not been in, not been going in a while. Ah, no bother. It's carnage at the moment. I've put the cabin in a random place. All the builders are up there. We've blocked off a road, so it's a walkway now and it doesn't get really dirty into the new office. Carnage. Just give it a wee drink. A squeeze getting in for a blue, but I made it. In Bonthron, bigger, it's got quality holes. <laughs> ah, it's like still getting mask. It's got loaded up, time for a cup of tea. First, I need to go and squash some uh, cardboard. It's just not enough space, so there's stuff blowing down the yard, you can see it. It's all things go, it's an absolute racket in there. Two loads out of here. Bucket full still there. That's my load. Don't put it, don't fill it right full because it's not a hydraulic door and the pivot lines along the top there. And my phone is stinking. Right, wee bit of a uh, tractor action today. Not been in a tractor for a while. Drainage will be happening in these fields soon. Bottom of this one, bottom of the next one, and the far corner. See that tree right in the middle, just above that. You can see the fresh stuff. It looks like it's coming out, so that's all right. There we go. Looks empty. Oh. My gloves today, nice one. Bad day to do that. Didn't feed the pigs and Percy first thing because I was coming along here with dung anyway, so I've just squared them all up. Got the water running on the IBC and then embedded the pigs as well. On to the next couple of loads, see what's in here. You can get this trailer stacked right full because it's hydraulic back door. Here it comes. They'd empty that front edge earlier so it's not as thick in there. Kind of from that post line backwards, it's all a wee bit thicker. That'll be that trailer full. I'll get this one shifted out of the way and get mine in. That'll be maybe over a third, just over a third done. I'm just going to try and push this ring out the road and get in this corner because the bucket's full and the forks, I don't know where they are. There we go, out the road. I'm going to take this load along the road. 
See the guy's been dumping all the rubble down there into the planings pile or next to the planings pile. We've shifted four loads so far. I think there'll be um, uh, there'll be uh, ten more. Yeah, this side of the way. Need to come in this direction to pick up, so I don't push against the door. I've got a wall to push against. If you're just still going. What's the chances this stays in the feeder once it rolls out? Oh, oh! Yeah, it's still there. What's the chances that falls out just before it makes it to the trailer? Oh, you yeah, beauty! I've made it. There goes the ducks, you see them? Get these bales up, get another two after this as well. Ooh! The case salesman just arrived. <laughs> Why has he arrived? Hopefully relatively soon we'll get this outside bit concreted just so we don't take gutters into the shed. We've got a nice yard to use. We'll also be able to then, because we'll concrete right up to those uh, bunker walls and that'll give us an extra bay or two to like tip wood chips if it's a dry day and things like that. All these beasts into here. Won't take long because it's nice fresh straw. They will want to come across. Come on, calm down. Don't want them to go too fast around the corner because you can see them slipping already. When it's fresh bedding on kind of old lifted dung, it makes a slippy surface. Quite a dense uh, population in there. They've got water on this side. Fresh bedding on this side, they've got feeding on this side. Although it's a bit dense, they'll be fine till tomorrow. So we'll get the rest of that finished tomorrow, but we should get a good bit over half of that done anyway. But looking at it, it's pretty dry stuff. I mean, if we compare it to last year, I've not got videos of last year, but last year it's all wet and soggy and you're sinking into it. Whereas this is solid, standing on top of that, absolutely solid. And there's no pools of liquid coming out the front making a mess. I do like the ammonia straw for that reason anyway. Although I say that they will be switching back to silage in about a week. Get the gap filled in with these. We've got these hinges on here so we've just pinned up to there. We don't need to dismantle that side. Just come in here. Getting the other trailer in now. The first one's full. So we'll get a big old bucket full here. Now we're talking. We're off again. Bit of a break there. Had to go in and pick up a car from the garage. Broken coil spring. Had lunch. Sales rep arrived. Shifted the cows across. Now we're carting again. Ground's not holding up too well around about here. It's a bit sticky. Anyway, that's one, two, three, four, five loads. Guest trailer's filled up, but he's still not back from straw yet. Laurie's here to pick up the container. Parked in the middle of the road. That container's getting shifted. Had to get a car out the road. And then that's that. Job done. See you later, container. Didn't take them long to do that. Getting this scraped away. Get it down to a level. I think they're doing this so they can put insulation below. Because uh, there's offices above this area. Digging all the way back there. Okay, it's got up with me. There's the hydraulic back door. That was the trailer to have back in the day, the belter when you got on that one. Harvest time, it was a fight between these two. Who's going to get the hydraulic back door or who's going to get the, the manual? Now we've got the big Stuart trailers and that hydraulic door. No one's, no one's fighting for anything because this just gets abandoned. Last load, I'm just going to nick this along the road. Kev's going to get parked where I'm pulling out of, fill up and then he'll be done. We'll get back to shifting in the morning. But he's struggling to get out. He was delivering plants and everything's all a bit tight around the yard at the moment. So there's gates here, I might go and shift them for him. Will they get out this time? I'll be sure to watch anyway. Taking another swing at it. He'll get around there, no bother. Well, sorry. Easy peasy. Last load of day and then I'm gonna go and buy a second camera. So I use my phone to video for everything and I want a second camera 
so that if I'm doing something else, I can just stick it on like time lapse and leave it so I can still record other stuff with this. Um, Cause it's quite often that I'm doing something and I'd like a time lapse of something else. So I'm gonna go and see what I can get. Anyway, cheers, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe, subscribe, big red button. You'll need to do that once, by the way. You, the like, you can do every video if you want. The subscribe, you'll need to do it the once. So if you've clicked the red button and it's turned gray, then you are subscribed. You can also click the wee bell that gives you a notification if, uh, if I put a new video up. Anyway, cheers for watching. See you in the next video. Don't know what's happening tomorrow. More dung, more dung, probably more dung. Look, I could lose my license. You shouldn't be playing cards in here. Cards, Bobby. We're playing cards, no cards. Cards is what you play cards with. <laughs> <laughs>